What's up everybody? My name is Dewey. Welcome back to my channel, Dewey Did It. Today is New Year's Eve. It's December 31st of 2020. This year is gone. Bye-bye! Out of here! Gone. 2021, please get better than 2020. Because, let me tell you, first off, I apologize that I've not uploaded a video here lately. The last video that I made was the deals for Black Friday. Yeah, so here, here's kind of what happened in a little quick rough summary. Thanksgiving hit. We had a good Thanksgiving. Cool. Black Friday hit. That was the day of all the big sales. I planned to go out and film. Yeah, well, that didn't happen. That Saturday was the first day I noticed my symptoms of COVID-19. Yes, it sucked. It was like two weeks. I was out of work. The first like week and a half, well, the first week, I didn't want to do anything, didn't have hardly any energy, and come like the week and a half mark, I had to get tested again to return to work, and I was able to return, I was out for just right at two weeks, so, apologize for all that, but this season, the 2021 season, is going to get good. There's going to be a lot of great changes to the channel. I'm going to introduce y'all to a whole different look of this channel. As y'all know it right now, I'm basically like the Cobalt guy. Yeah, I love my Cobalt tools, don't get me wrong. But there is other things that I do want to share with y'all, like Amsoil right over here. I've been a dealer for over three years. I've been a, let's just say... A believer of Amsel for way longer than that about 10 years the guy that I was able to get in touch with for Amsel might have him on the channel we're gonna go over the history of Amsel what's so great about it because you hear about Amsel all the time if you're in motorsports and all that you hear about Amsel even in off-roading. Off-roading is huge. There's one key product with Amsoil that anybody that off-roads knows about. The Severe Gear. It's like the bread and butter of Amsoil because it cannot be beat. It's one of the best ones out there. So we'll go over that. Why Amsoil is good as it is. And it is USA made. So if you're like me, you like stuff made in the USA. Yeah, there's stuff like this. It's not made in the USA no more. It's kind of hard to find anything. But when it comes to oil and stuff like that, it's made in, made in the USA. Can't go wrong whatsoever with that. It's 100% synthetic oils. There's only one oil that Amsoil makes that is not synthetic. If you know what that is, leave it in the comments down below. Because there's one and only one. So we'll go over that. Uh, talk about the tools. Right quick, the Cobalt 24 volt lineup has expanded big time. So they are over what they say 50, I've counted over 75 24 volt tools. There will be a video going over everyone, and I'm going to try and like classify those into little sections. 24 volt lineups growing very, very rapidly. There's a lot of great tools coming out, and in Lowe's, I don't know if y'all been, but uh, I posted a lot of cool stuff. And we're going to call this the Blue Wave. Because this Blue Wave isn't just like little uh, little whips, you know, you take on a bodyboard or boogie board, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is like you're sitting there and there's this movie with The Rock. I don't know if y'all have ever seen it. Uh. San Andreas it's an awesome movie but y'all remember like when he's sitting there and he just looks and there's like this big freaking tidal wave coming yeah that's the way Cobalt's doing it right now that tidal wave is coming in and it's coming in fast and it is taking out so many brands in Lowe's right now because if y'all don't know it Lowe's owns Cobalt that's their house brand that's what really started me into the Cobalt line, and then Cobalt fully revamped. Yes, they got rid of a bunch of stuff. People were like, oh no, I've got all these Cobalt tools. They're gone. I'll never be able to get them again. No, they're revamping. They're making their stuff better. Some stuff, I uh, will say, like 
ain't the greatest. We'll go over a couple of those. Let's just call them bad eggs. But every company is out there to make money. But there's companies out there to have a great product. Cobalt, for the vast majority, has a great product. Especially in this 24-volt line. It has gotten so much better within the past year with the XTR line. The XTR line, from what I've heard, is getting bigger and better. So it's going to be expanding as well. As it is, some of these tools, uh, like this here, this is a product that everybody is wanting to go XTR. This oscillating multi-tool, the grinder, let it go XTR, have a better version of it. Uh, I mean, there's just so many back here that's a great tool, but it could be better and it will be getting better. So we'll be going over all of that. But I do want to talk about hand tools, contractor tools that are in Lowe's and are getting better. Or actually redone because they used to be there years back and they kind of just drifted away. Why? I don't know. But So first section we're going to talk about, and if you go to your Lowe's, you should be able to see this one right now. If you go into the plumbing section, in that plumbing section... There used to be a whole lot of Linux products. Now, those Linux products are out the door, being replaced with Cobalt. They have awesome plumbing tools, kits. There's a bag deal for like 50 bucks. Count those tools up, add the prices up. You can't beat that bag. That bag is a deal. One tool in that is $13. So, 13 bucks for one tool. And I think the adjustable plier, soft jaw pliers... I think they're like the same price. So you buy almost two or three tools, you get that whole kit for free in a bag. So that's the way to look at that. Uh, there's a lot of great plumbing tools in there. The next one that's going to upset some people, it kind of upsets me in a bit, but just a little bit, is the electrician stuff. So if you go in the electrical section where Southwire is, Southwire's been an awesome brand. They've got great products. They've been in Lowe's for a while. Well, I think that contract has probably ended. Just guessing. So, so Cobalt has their own multimeter now. They have an awesome set. And I'm telling you, like, here, I'll show you. This. So, if you work on electrical, you know these. These here, Klein's. You, like, there's nothing that competes with them. This one's beat up. Like, if you look at these, zip focus. Yeah. These things have cut a lot of stuff. The cutting section is pretty worn out. The new cobalt ones, I swear, no lie, they have to be a pair of clients because they are freaking identical. So, I've got part numbers on that. Those are posted on my Instagram. They've got two that I know of versions of strippers and cutters. They have a new set of insulated screwdrivers, like no joke. Look up the Southwire ones because the Southwire are almost identical, but they've got like a cobalt handle on them. I swear they're made by Southwire, the same people that make the Southwire stuff. Just a little tad bit of information there. So. The electrical section is amazing. It's getting revamped. And that's just part of that blue wave. Um, other sections that are going to be changing. We're going to start seeing, hopefully in store, the addition of some of Cobalt's bigger saws. And when I'm talking about bigger saws, I'm talking like table saws. So Cobalt right now has like one table saw. It's pretty good. Me personally, I like to keep in the same bloodlines and run cobalt stuff. But in that saw line, they're starting to add, I think it's three or four um, tile saws, stuff like that. Hopefully, we'll be seeing expansion of carpentry tools. Cobalt just introduced not that long ago a router, a belt sander, a planer, all in the 24 volt lineup. That's freaking awesome. I know everybody 
on my Cobalt Nation Facebook group. By the way, if you're not in there, go check it out. Facebook, look up the group, Cobalt Nation. I will probably be the one accepting your request. So you get all kinds of info in there. We chit chat, share review tools. If you ask something, we'll try and reply back. And trust me, I try to keep down some of the negativity and all that in there. But we have some guys that are cut ups. Some of them, they're just joking and pulling your leg. Don't take no offense to it. Uh, it's a pretty good group. We are at 1.3 thousand members. And that group's not that old. I mean, it's like four or five months old. A uh, buddy of mine, Cody, started it. I asked if, hey, I can step in. And he let me go as a moderator. So that's a good group to join into. Check out my Instagram because if I find any deals... I will post them there first. And I'm talking big deals. Next thing. We may be dabbling into working on my bike this year. Should be. Uh, we'll go see a buddy of mine, Kevin Baxter. He lives down in Georgia. He's got a shop, Pro Twin Performance. He works on cars, trucks, motorcycles, well, Harleys. Uh, has his own machine shop, so we may go down there, spend the day with him, chit chat, drop my bike off, and who knows what we'll talk about. May shoot a little video, but he will be tearing down my bike. There's a lot to that. We'll make another video on that, talking about the bike and all that stuff. Go over it. So that's another thing. Uh, changing things up in here for y'all, so you get a better view. We'll be going over a camera mounting system where I hope using something that I already have and I've had for years called the Panfish Dog Bone from Ram Mounts. I'm going to try and mount that up there so that like whenever I'm doing something on the workbench, you get a nice down facing view so you can kind of see what I see. I've got the head strap thing, but that thing's kind of annoying. Um, we'll see how that goes. I may use both of them. You never know. Um, we'll also be talking about organization of tools again. I'll get back into that. I know I started talking about the ULSA tools in previous videos on socket organization. So we got sockets organized. We'll be working our way down the toolbox and show y'all an awesome product that I've been working out. We'll see if that all pans out about organizing wrenches, screwdrivers, even sockets, if you want to go that route. I'll be mentioning wall control. We'll be going over that and let y'all know more about that product. It's a great company. Um, very affordable for what it is. You don't have to buy it all at once. Um, hopefully, I'll be getting a discount code for that. And uh, that's about it for right now that I want to uh, kind of fill y'all in on. Thank y'all for hanging in there. This video's yeah, just shy of 15 minutes. So, if you haven't already, go to my Instagram, follow me on there, go to my YouTube channel, and please, please help me. My goal was to hit 500 subscribers by the new year. Still got a little bit of time. I'm like 20 some odd subscriptions short. Last I looked, it was like 471. So please, like, hit this little button right here. It should work if you touch it, like, on your phone or just move your mouse over and click it. That should hit subscribe. If not, just scroll down a little bit or, like, if you're on your phone, just pop out of the full screen. Hit that subscribe button, please. I would love to hit over a 1,000 subscribers in 2021 that would be amazing but please hit the subscribe button because uh you never know i might find a killer one day flash sale like big time deal so thank y'all for hanging in there see y'all in the next one